So I've just had a one-to-one -one session with a batsman and I was focusing on doing throwdowns. And one of the things that you can do with pitch vision is you can move the sensors around to fit in with what you need. So in this particular case, what I did was I moved the sensor here, the foot sensor, a long way forward, four meters in front of its usual position on the pop increase. And from there, I could easily do throwdowns to the batsman and he could play in the way that he wanted to play. But I was also able to still use pitch vision and still track everything with the video and still track everything with the ball tracking. So let's have a little look at how we set that up on the system now. This is how the screen looks. I've set this up for a one-to-one -one session. Of course, this is completely customizable. And if you're not sure how to set up a session, we've done a video on that. And you can have a look at the link to find out more about that. I won't talk about that now. I'll simply show you how to change the venue to match what you're doing. So to do that, we go up to setup in the corner and we click on venues. Again, I'm going to assume that your venue is already set up in there. And yet again, if you're not sure how to set up a venue from scratch, there's another video on how to do that. But if your venue is set up, then we can go down to the crease mat position option. And we need to decide how far it is from the bowl increase. So make sure that you measure the distance from the crease to where the crease is going to be. Put that number in. So we've done it four meters away this time, and we change that to forward. So now it's four meters in front of the bowling crease. From there, all you need to do is save the session.